Judge John Hurley, one of our all-time legends, is about to go off on an attorney. Hello, common censors, friends, and fans of the show. I'm Joe Pometto, also known as Joe the Lawyer, and this is my YouTube channel, Common Sense Academy, where we take a look at sovereign citizens, auditors, other First Amendment issues, and general shenanigans involving the law. And I break it down, analyze it from a legal standpoint, and we also have some fun in the process. Today, we're going to take a look at a video of of a Judge John Hurley out of Broward County, Florida, who, in my opinion, is just a legendary judge. And I like the fact that he puts his, he has his courtroom videotaped and he puts it out there for the public to see. We can all learn from it. So I'm going to have a couple of mixed opinions after this video. I will say right from the beginning, this video is old. I just found it. I'm going to go through, analyze all of Judge Hurley's videos, at least all the fun ones, put them up on my channel. So it's not all new original content as far as the videos, but my commentary absolutely is original content. So if you like the Common Sense Academy, please do me a favor. A free way to support the channel is to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Share these videos on your social media if you have fun and you know other people on Facebook would like them as well. Now before we get started, let's do our, our traditional um, our traditional, uh, what would you call it, ritual of the same time sipping. Oh, oh, I bet you didn't know that Joe drinks water too. It's not just a Diet Coke and coffee diet. So grab your drink, grab your beer, your Diet Coke, your Pepsi, your coffee, whatever it is that you like to drink, be it mead, wine, uh, or vodka and cheers with me as I have a sip of water. <sighs> Delicious. Now let's watch this video and stay tuned for the commentary afterwards. Broward County Judge John J. Hurley lashed out on Tuesday at a defense lawyer who took umbrage at a decision to impose a thousand dollar bond on a homeless man facing a flock of possession charge. Fenton Ross was about to be released without bond when Hurley was told pre-trial services would have difficulty monitoring him because he was homeless. Hurley then decided to impose a thousand dollar bond, which drew an objection from assistant public defender Dale Miller. Judge, at this time I would object to the court putting him, putting the bond back. Being homeless should not be an impediment to being pre-trial. As and as Hurley tried to move on to the next case, Miller made a comment that prompted a stern rebuke. Oh, um, Judge, since we're going to warehouse Mr. Ross for a while, can we get a sap? Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on. You know what? Your unprofessionalism and your smart aleck, sure. and sir, sir, don't, don't even try. You need to pick up your professionalism. You're taking a shot at the court. It's unprofessional. It is really, uh, sir, you do this quite often. The court's really tired of it. I've admonished you many times. And you know you're taking a shot by saying warehousing. You need to pick up your game for professionalism, sir. You don't need to editorialize. You don't need to give a shot like that to the court. You do it quite often. Frankly, sir, it's no admonishment I've given you in the past has gotten you to stop doing this. I'm not inclined to hold you in contempt of court. That's not my the way I do it. I don't do things like that, but let me just tell you, you need to pick your game up because your shots to this court really undermine everyone's view of how the court should be run. And you, you need to stop doing this. I don't know what else to do. I've admonished you. I know that you're... I know that someone in your office has admonished you for how you behave. I've been told that. And you still continue to behave this way. And I'm going to ask you to please, sir, take a pause today and think about this and knock it off. Thank you. Judge, I don't I'm nothing more about that. For my, I am advocating zealously for my client. You're advocating in an unprofessional way. I'm not going to hear another word about it. Oh, do I have a lot to say about this one because as you all know, I'm an attorney and I'm in a position similar to that attorney on an almost daily basis. 
So the first thing that I want to say is that I agree with Judge John Hurley that an attorney in his role should not use a statement like warehousing or any sort of statement that comes off as disrespectful to the court. And I, 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 I'm with the judge here. You know, you can't use that term warehousing. He just tried to sneak it in there in a in a sly and sarcastic manner. You can't do it. The judge is right. It undermines the authority of the court. It even undermines the other attorneys, everybody in there. Okay. So with that said, um, sometimes as a lawyer, you can get really, really frustrated with the judges because as wise and intelligent as many judges are, and I have a great respect for the majority of the ones that I deal with, okay, some of them, you know, they make bad decisions on a continuous basis and, you know, it, it, it can be frustrating. It can be frustrating. However, the judge is right. You have to be professional. Okay, there are ways to uh, share your opinion with the court in a very professional manner using slipping in a term like warehousing is not the way to do it. I think the judge really had to step in and say something too, considering that these videos are, or I'm sorry, that these courtroom proceedings are on video. Um, it was interesting as well that the judge has said this to this attorney in the past. Um, and it was also pointed out that people in his office have taken up these issues with him as well in the public defender's office. And again, sometimes there can be a strange dynamic. And here's the thing. I'm, I, you all don't know how old I am. I'm not that old, but I'm also not that young. I'll, just, I'll tell you, I'm 37 years old. Okay. And I am still younger than, not, well, I'm younger than, the, actually, I think there's one judge. No, he's in his 40s. Okay, so first of all, I'm younger than every judge that I'm going to encounter. There are some magistrate judges that are younger, okay, but common pleas court, which is what Judge Hurley is, I, in my, in my, I've never met one that is younger than me. Let's, let's put that out there to start. Um, but some attorneys have been practicing 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Okay, they're older than these judges. And sometimes that can be a strange dynamic when you have like a young judge, but an old, very learned attorney. Okay, and those attorneys generally, even when they know the law better than the judge, and some of them do, you have to bring it up and bring it about in an extremely professional way. Now, when, Ju when Judge Hurley rebuked this guy and he kept saying admonish, admonish over and over, what a legal word, what a weird word. It was fine when I heard it the first time, but when I heard it five, six, or seven times, I'm like, just get this word out of my vocabulary. But now I, I don't, and I, I said rebuked, that's a legal word too. Anyway, when <laughs> Judge Hurley went after this guy, you know, he came back and said, I was zealously advocating for my client. I, you know, I understand where he's coming from because as defense attorneys, we have to stand there and we have to take a beating and we have to continue to advocate. There is a way to do it without mocking the court. Um, now, going back to the point that I made with the older attorneys, I've seen some older attorneys, uh, attorneys let loose on judges. And again, it's because of the weird power dynamic. So I think it's, it's important for a judge to be aware of that dynamic and to not ever, not really ever let it get out of hand. It's just they really have to maintain this, this professionalism and their authority in the courtroom or uh, things can go awry in there. I mean, they deal with very, very serious issues, criminals, police, everything. Your respect that you command as a judge is, is just, it's worth everything. Okay, so I understand where the judge was coming from. You know, the thing is, this attorney probably goes before a lot of judges, different judges. He does this all day. He probably sees other judges that do different things. So he's sitting in there. He's thinking to himself, oh, this judge, you know, is a blowhard or whatever on certain decisions. If I was before another judge, it would have gone differently. And that's why he's given them, giving them this attitude. Okay, regardless, it is M proper and you can zealously advocate for your client without being a jagoff um 
here so here's here's the other weird thing that attorneys get into sometimes is your client the clients love it when the attorneys go after the other attorneys and go after the judges okay i've had clients tell me i've argued with judges been screamed out argued with them and then my client says oh you didn't yell i said you want me to yell at the judge you want me to start yelling at a judge and I'm not saying some attorneys can yell and it's proper, okay? But it really just depends. It really depends on the context, okay? And it's gonna, but it's gonna be a rare situation where you're gonna be yelling at a judge. Now, as a lawyer, you can yell like if you're in a trial and you're appealing to a jury, um, or you're doing something with a, a certain witness. Yelling may be appropriate, okay? And it, but it, but it has to be viewed by everyone there, especially the jury, as an appropriate emotional reaction, okay? And I've had clients who just wanted me to yell at a judge uh, when it was entirely inappropriate. I had a client one time call me and he wanted me to, he was going to pay me to specifically, and he, he said, he wanted to pay me, okay, to represent him at a hearing, but he would only do it if I brought up the fact that this client had filed a frivolous lawsuit against the judge. This wasn't a sovereign citizen, but maybe he should have been. He was filing, you know, a lot of these people, they go through the court system, even when they're not sovereigns, they get mad at what happened, and they file these crazy frivolous lawsuits against judges all the time. If you're a judge, when you're in the legal profession, you need to develop a thick skin. You're going to get sued. Okay, you're going to face lawsuits. Attorneys get sued, judges get sued, police officers get sued, everybody involved in the legal. Once you're in the profession, okay, you're going to get sued. So, uh, this attorney said to me one time, he said, I, I was like, and I wanted to help the guy, okay? I'm a criminal defense attorney, you know, he's got money, he was going to pay me. And he was, I want you to bring up the fact that I filed the lawsuit and that's why he's doing this to me. And I said, I'm not going to do it. And we had one discussion and a second discussion, and uh, he was like, I have the money, I'll bring it down right now. Da, 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 da. I was like, don't come, I don't want your money. I'm not gonna bring up something that's not relevant um, in front of this judge. <clears throat> Damage my reputation for the future. But the clients love that type of shit, and some attorneys get, sort of get off on making the clients laugh, okay? And, and or showing the client, you can put on a show. There's nothing wrong with putting on a bit of a show, uh, in my opinion, when you're up against a judge and you're doing criminal defense, especially when you're in front of a jury. You can put on a show, but you need to know how to do it. Again, you have to use the appropriate emotional responses. And, and so I think what happens, though, is some clients, some attorneys get caught up in this, criminal defense attorneys, and they love putting on the show and the clients feed off it. And, you know, sometimes even if you lose, the client will be like, ribbing you because you know you went after them and yeah you tore them apart and it's like well you didn't win but i tore it apart okay well some lawyers do that because that protects them right it's like they might walk into a situation knowing they're going to lose but they'll puff it up okay just to make their client happy all right uh you can do that but you have to know how to control it you have to know how to do it when it's emotionally um appropriate to do it so the judge did the right thing here this attorney was a bit out of line then he stood his ground he tried to couch it as zealously advocating that wasn't advocating that was taking a shot but you know you're on camera i get it you got to defend yourself a little bit but i i still have a lot of respect for any defense attorney and especially any public defender they put up with a lot of bs so sometimes you just get pushed to the edge and that may be what was occurring with this gentleman so i hope you enjoyed and i also wanted to add um, the, the reason that set this off was that the judge decided to set this individual who was homeless at a bond of $1,000 so that he would be in the jail because the pretrial services would not normally be able to monitor him. So sometimes when somebody is facing a crime, instead of giving them a monetary bond, um, they, can be, they can get house arrest at a house. But if somebody is homeless and doesn't have a house, okay, a judge can't give them that remedy. Now, the judge could have just given him uh, an, an OR, an ROR bond release on his own reconnaissance, 
I don't know exactly what the crime was, possession of a drug, this guy's history, da 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 but the judge decided to set a bond instead. He didn't feel it was appropriate to give this guy an ROR just because they couldn't put him on pretrial supervision. And that, that's a decision you're going to see a lot of judges make because if they just default to releasing someone when they wouldn't normally release someone, okay, then these attorneys and these defendants are going to ask, always ask to get released in a similar situation. And they'll say, what? So this individual is getting special treatment uh, just because they're homeless? Um, and, and in a way, it might be better off if this gentleman is in jail at least for a couple of weeks rather than he was living on the street. And if he has drug issues, he can get at least a little bit. I'm not saying it's great and there's much, but some sort of treatment and, 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 and supervision in the jail. I've seen a lot of people kick drugs uh, while they're in the jail, get over the, uh, you know, the immediate uh, after effects or withdrawal. So, you know, the judge wasn't coming out of nowhere when he did this. Uh, again, I, I think, you know, the judge is ultimately in the right here, but I understand the frustration. So uh, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Join my email list below for updates. You're going to get free PDFs. You're going to see all of my videos and other content provided by me. Thank you for tuning in to Common Sense Academy.